All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to replace a toilet stop and supply line. So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and loosen up and take off this top nut. And now I'm gonna put on my pipe cutters right behind the stop so that I can slowly cut this without adding too much stress to the pipe to avoid me cracking. We've removed the old supply line, so now it's time to remove the toilet. Now it's time to put on my new stop. Because we're using a Sharp Bite Max angle stop, I'm gonna go ahead and get my deburring tool on here to make sure I don't get any nicks or scrapes inside the stop. But I'm gonna mark my insertion depth to ensure that I have a good makeup and then it's just a push connect after that. And it looks like we're good. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do before actually sitting this toilet is thread my new supply line onto the tank before it's tied against the wall and in my own way. So one of the last things before I get the water turned back on is hooking up the supply line to the stop itself. Because the bottom one is a compression nut, I will have to get tools on to make sure it's all the way tightened and not gonna leak. 